all, we are going to be doing a flip through of the Astronomy Notebooking Journal with, from Apologia. And I actually purchased this on christianbook.com. And I hope you enjoyed this flip through. And if you like flip throughs, please give this a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe before you leave my channel. And I hope you enjoy it. We're going to get right into it. I love that they do the spiral bound. I have never used them before, so I'm not for exactly for sure how well they're going to hold up. But I feel like it's pretty good quality as far as spiral bound notebooks go. I feel like it's, it'll probably hold up at least through the upcoming school year. Anyway, I, I have already done a flip through of the junior notebooking, but today we're going to be doing a flip through of just a regular notebook journal like for your older grades and things like that. This will be what my eighth grader will be doing along with us this coming school year. Of course, it has lots of things and things for you to read and all of the stuff for your instructional support and all of the things. Of course, then we come into the table of contents. It's going to look very similar to the other one if you want to go back and watch that one of the junior notebooking that I did flip through is what is astronomy, the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, the moon, Mars, space rocks, inner planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, outer planets, the cube, your belt, cube your belt, and dwarf planet, stars, galaxies, and space, and space travel says lesson one what is astronomy it kind of shows you what um they kind of expect what like kind of maybe what you could do as far as if you want it broken down i really like this it's like a suggested daily schedule i'm sure we won't follow this to a t but i love that they lay it out in case we need this kind of thing so they kind of think like maybe a week you'll need but i don't really know how long we're going to take doing each lesson but i love that they kind of have a suggested schedule for you i love that a lot and they do it for every single lesson if you need that i love that i love that i love that so much what you are going to find in this notebook you are not going to have any coloring pages like the junior ones do and that's understandable Oops. so then you're going to get into your creation com confirmation bookmark it kind of has instructions i love that it has thorough instructions of what you are to do and then you have lesson one what is astronomy of course i will read the lesson from the book and then he will have um, his assignment, astronomy, fascinating facts and personal reflections, maybe uh, drawing a picture. I don't exactly know what we're going to put there. I need to really look through this book pretty in depth and figure out what they expect there, whether it's a drawing or a picture somewhere from in this book. Then you have like make your own where, you know, so you can remember mercury venus earth and all the things you can write your own write a serious sentence and write a silly sentence like i know in the other one it kind of had like my very i don't know my very something mother just i don't remember what my school said and i don't remember what the junior notebooking said but there was that <laughs> and then you have copy work of course, I've explained before, we do the King James Version, so what I will probably do is either I will cross that out and write the King James by Version verse here, or I will put it up on our whiteboard or blackboard, and he can write it down here in cursive, or they have the cursive and the print on the other side, which I love, where he can do either or, or both. I kind of like that. We'll probably do both. <laughs> then you make an astronomy, what is astronomy matchbook? have that artificial satellites Galileo we actually have a book about Galileo that I actually got from from the good and the beautiful which will be in an upcoming video what all we're going to use for science in our books with science Hubble NASA and then we have all the things Nicholas Copernicus Natural satellites, Stonehenge, constellations. 
what is astronomy matchbook attach your matchbook here guess what you've been working on then you have an astronomy crossword that looks fun i always love doing these america's space agency called the national aeronautics and space administration that is pretty easy that is nasa and i don't know if it just goes in order scientists who built telescopes and studied astronomy Hmm. Everything that exists in space, including the Earth, planets. See, a physical force that number four would be gravity. So four down would be gravity. G R A V I T Y. That would be gravity. So they're not exactly in order, but pretty interesting. Then you build a model solar system. Then you what I did, what I learned, and I think they have the instructions for that in the teacher's book. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's true. Take it further, fill the page with colorful drawings and lists of books you read about astronomy, movies you watched, and any additional experiments you performed. That'll be fun, because we'll definitely read some books and maybe watch some movies. That would be fun. And some more take it further. You can make a scrapbook page of your journey so far and what do you remember? Like, And they give you prompts like, why did God create the stars and planets? What are the names of the planets? Do you remember the name of the astronomer who first said that Earth revolves around the sun? That will be fun. What is the difference between a natural satellite and an artificial satellite? I like that. Oh, what was your favorite part of this lesson? And as you can see, the lesson pages are long. It's 48 pages for lesson one. So we can only imagine lesson two will probably be very long as well. That's why this book is over 300 pages long. <laughs> yep, 320. Oh. 325 pages long so we got the sun and I guess I can just be quiet and just flip through for you guys as you can see they're kind of different like give a speech to teach others about the sun I like that that it's not completely the same we have the sun wheel mini book I like that solar flare sunspots apparently I'm gonna keep talking so we're just gonna keep talking The Sun Will Mini Books. See, they give you lots of pages for the mini books. Take a walk around the sun. Revolving and rotating. We have more copy work. I love the pictures too. Oh, that's going to be cute. How we see color. The Solar Eclipse Mini Books. The Rainbow and Solar Eclipse mini book. So you're going to be making like a lot of mini books, it sounds like. <laughs> but it's a little bit different. A little bit of the sun. Taking it further. What do you remember? I like that it kind of rounds off with like, what do you remember? Then we get right into Mercury. copy work, activity. So it's basically the same format. You're going to be making mini books constantly, which I think would be fun. Then we got crosswords, like every other chapter. What do you remember? And then we get into Venus. I think this will be really neat to kind of see what my kids choose is their favorite part of the, or what he chooses is his favorite part of the, the lesson. I don't believe this was in the other one, but I, it kind of gives you prompts, questions. I like this, honestly. I said he needed handwriting, but honestly, with all this writing, I don't know. We'll see how this all works. I'll give you a mid-year check-in, or a, I don't know how we're going to do this, like a quarterly check-in or a mid-year check-in. I'm not always real good with checking in, but as you can see, but I will try to get better about that. Venus Volcano Mini Books. Learn how a radar is used. Oh, that will be fun. Crosswords for the Venus crossword. Take it further. And I would assume these are kind of optional. I mean, always, as I always say, make the curriculum work for you. You don't have to do every single page. Don't feel pressured to do so. 
kind of supposed to work for you and make it fun. Like, hey, we're going to get to do these things, a few things out of here. You don't have to do every single mini book. You don't have to do every single page. But I think, you know, I would definitely, even if we don't do every single mini book, we'll do some of these things. Definitely do the copy work. We're definitely going to do kind of, I don't know, that would be fun. I think my son would really love that. My husband would would probably like being involved in that. <laughs> And I think that would be really neat. It says create an advertisement for Earth. So that would definitely be fun. And definitely the crosswords. I'll have him do. I don't know. All the things look good. But definitely we will do the what do you remember. I think that will be really fun. I like look back and kind of see what he remembers about each lesson. And just kind of solidify in their brains. I love it, and I love it that it takes it right back to the Bible. Like I said, in the teacher's book, the teacher's book, you will kind of give more instructions. This kind of goes along with the teacher's book. So I would definitely not be teaching this kind of science without having the teacher's book to go along with it to kind of explain the lessons and all of the things and to Mars. Fascinating facts and personal reflections. Activity. Build Olympus moon. Build Olympus wands. In the box to the right. Attach a photograph or draw a picture of the volcano you made. Be neat. I don't know if we're going to be doing all of the projects. But I love it that they're there for us in case we want to. Or in case that's optional. I know my younger two love doing projects. My oldest does enjoy it to a point but i definitely think we will do definitely several like i think making the compass would be a definite one that i want to do that just sounds like so much fun space rocks these would be really um obviously not to go and get space rocks but <laughs> but just to go out and like do some nature walking and looking up at the stars looking up at the moon you know kind of all of the things after we learn all of this which we like to do that anyway so that's not going to be any different the, sp the space rocks mini book identify space rocks space rocks crossword i love all the pictures and the graphics what do you remember what is another name for a comet? That would be fun. What do people call meteors? What is a meteor called when it hits Earth? Where have many meteorites have been found? From which planet did some of the meteorites come? Where is the asteroid belt located? All of these things. Always ask what your favorite part of this lesson is. I think it's really interesting. Let's see. Add some favorite facts about the inner planets to the illustrations below. So I guess maybe they'll get a chance. If he wants to color it, he can. And then he can write about it. And Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. My thoughts on God, the universe, and me. I like the prompts. I really, really like the prompts. Jupiter mini book. Copy work. Make a hurricane tube. I've heard about, I don't think I've ever done that. I think that would be fun. Like I said, I think all the projects instructions are in the teacher's book. And I'm having trouble turning the page. <laughs> and we have a Jupiter crossword. I think that would just be fun. They could even do that one. He could even do that when I'm reading the story of Jupiter. I think, I don't think it would be too hard to do. Take it further. What do you remember? Like some of these things can like, can be done while you're doing the lesson. It just keeps their little hands busy. <laughs> Even my eighth grader sometimes needs to keep his hands busy too. Saturn. Cause I mean, you get kind of bored listening sometimes. Or at least kind of looking over like, well, what am I going to write when she's done or doing the copy work? Having that all ready to do. Saturn mini book. Saturn crossword. 
launch a rocket. Oh, that sounds like fun. What is Saturn made of? Why would Saturn be an unpleasant place to visit? Uranus. I can tell we're going to have lots of conversations about Uranus. <gasps> That is just that word. I know my kids are going to make a lot of jokes about that. Create a play about the discovery of your race. Yeah, don't know what's going to write. I will definitely be checking in with y'all to tell y'all if we like this, what I think about it throughout the year. Make clouds. That sounds fun. And then what do you remember about Uranus? <laughs> what chemical makes Uranus blue-green in appearance? Why was it so exciting to discover Uranus? I can't even really say it without laughing. Neptune. And I have two boys, so I definitely go pick up on this. Make ice cream. Oh my gosh, that's going to be fun. Copy work. Neptune mini books. We basically got many books throughout the whole thing oh and it does have the, the answers to to a, some of the things back here so that'll be coming out of course it ends with final thoughts on god the universe and me love that oh we have final review once we get through all of the things the galaxies Lots of verses and psalms to be pondering throughout this book. I'm going to go back. Kind of look at that final review is what they call it. That will be really interesting to see how much he remembers from this, the book. What is a solar eclipse? What does the surface of Mercury look like? Where is the asteroid belt? What is a constellation? Why is Pluto's orbit more like a comet than a planet? What did Neil Armstrong say when he stepped on the moon? Final thoughts on God, the universe, and me. I love it. And then of course we have the answers, final review solutions, which I will take all of that out so I can put it with my stuff and i'm glad i saw this because definitely need to get that out there before the year starts so yeah we have the astronomy and notebooking journal for my oldest who will be in eighth grade and it definitely looks very needy like it looks like he's gonna be busy yep and i hope you guys enjoyed this flip through and i'll talk to you guys real soon bye bye